people, a group of Year 5 children to come along and experience different ways of using digital computing and to give them an experience of how we can implement it in different ways. I'm Naz Chaddy and I'm Head of Computing over here at Woodford County High School. The Makey Makey session involves a little bit of theory at the beginning whereby I teach a bit about input, output, input device and output devices. An input de device is some, a device that uh, gives information to the computer. For example, a keyboard, if you're typing something, it will show up on your monitor. It's one of the basic concepts of uh, computing, input, storage, output, processes. So we want them to learn the basic concepts first. Once they've done that, they then go on to use the Makey Makeys to create their own input device and to produce an output. And through doing that, they learn about circuits. So they're using Play-Doh, they're using the Makey Makey boards and crocodile clips to actually assemble the whole thing together. And then they produce sound output. So they use Play-Doh as the input, and then the output would be the sound. We are doing Makey Makey, and this time we'll try the piano with our different arrows. We discovered that um, even our hands, if we press it here, it would still work. Yeah. It's a fun and creative way to, um, to work with inputs and outputs. It's hands on, it's fun, it's interactive. They can sit there for hours just playing around with it and seeing what, you know, what outputs they can create. It was really great to see the engagement of the children but also the work that they achieved. They were able to program something and you could see them getting excited saying, oh I'm going to go home and I'm going to make this or I'm going to go home and do this. The primary school teachers love it. They love the idea of the students actually being able to get a hands on approach to things rather than them than just theory. They were all making different sounds and uh, rhythms and some of them even got to play Tetris. I've had lots of students that come in and have said that they want to go off and buy Makey Makeys for their birthday, for Christmas and so on. And there's lots of online resources which help support that. They can actually, they can go on to work, work with Scratch and program something so they can use the Makey Makey as um, a control board. So, you know, it's, it's never ending and it's, and it's fun. It's so much fun for them. I've asked them, are you having a good time? Are you enjoying the trip? And they've all given me really positive responses. That's what it's all about. We're here for the children and if they're enjoying themselves and learning, that's what we want. So after they've, they've uh, taken part in the Make Make session, I usually send out the resources that are used for that session. I send them out to the primary school for them to be able to refer to or even use again. If they are able to invest in Make and Makeys, they can run that whole session all over again because they will have seen it in practice and they'll be able to apply it um, to some of the other classes that they have at school. I feel totally happy to now go back to school and do those sessions with my class and then I'll cascade it down to other members of staff. We've been running the DSH workshops for about a year now. There's many benefits to being a digital schoolhouse. Primarily it helps us build links with primary schools. These are all feeder schools for us anyway. And it helps us to engage with them and to basically bring them in and let them see what it's like to be in a secondary school environment. Anything that we need in terms of resources, I can go to Sheila for. If we need anything in terms of support in trying to get primary schools in, or observations, or perhaps feedback, is always on call, basically. The resources that we get from the digital schoolhouse, we can use with our students as well. And it's all current trending hardware that is you know, innovative, creative, hands-on, which our girls also enjoy using. The digital schoolhouse does seem to have um, built enthusiasm for computing and we're introducing the GCSE in computing this September and have had immediately to um, put two classes on because the, the take up was huge. I can only highly recommend digital schoolhouse to other teachers and other schools just simply from the levels of enthusiasm from the children that I've seen. I would definitely highly recommend it, I've been motivated, all on tasks, yeah. all good feedback. The promotion of specific really skills and language, yeah. I mean all of this you know is important for their future, we want them to be computer literate, we want them to have these skills and we want them to you know be ready for the future that they're facing.